Okay. Whoa. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what I deal with. But how is it? Is it clear? She's yeah. helpful. Okay. She can be helpful. And then sometimes not. When she goes. <gasps> oh, she's pretty. And we have successfully left the house, taking mom uh, to a special event in the Central Arkansas Walk for Alzheimer's. And, and I didn't let her bring her purse, and that is traumatic. Most traumatic, besides not having her purse, yeah. is yeah. the fact that she has no lipstick. Look, Mama. Well, I'm having to Look, lipstick for you. I'm having to overuse my napkin. I mean, my Kleenex many times, so it's full of snot. <laughs> 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 I thought you guys to know that. We have extras yeah. for you. Don't get snot on my lipstick. Gross. So when she doesn't have her purse, she is naked. Naked. And so uh, this will be uneasy for her uh, for a little while and then she'll get into it. She's like, oh, I'm so glad I don't have my purse. Oh, I would hate to be carrying around my purse. I don't know, Mom. Are you ready for a two mile walk? Sure. Oh, it's because Bethy's here. I knew it. Bethy and I made this plan together. She is. She's keeping I forgot my gloves in the car. <laughs> and she's got her cute little hat on. So what a beautiful day for Alzheimer's Walk. <laughs> did Mama just did Mama just ask where the car is? Yeah. Okay, Mom, we just got started. <laughs> Poor Bethy's having to uh, distract mom. She is over this walk already. <laughs> Beth has one job, and that's to keep her focused on not the walk. <laughs> We're all headed back to the stables, Barbara. <laughs> we had to uh, take a detour and the hundreds of people that were behind us and said, don't follow us, we're taking a shortcut. There they are, they See, Mama, look. We didn't make you walk all that way. But Mother, Mother was like, you take me to the vehicular now. Beth's doing a really good job keeping her distracted. Because we're several blocks away from the car. We're not too far. But for Mama, I now see, Mother. Now, if you had your purse right now, you'd be loaded down. No, you would be loaded down. That's right. That's why. No. No, <laughs> Bethy. Bethy would be loaded down. Yeah, Bethy would be carrying your purse. I've got your eight flowers. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to put those in the backyard. Those are special. One more corner. Hey, and we're back to the car. On that black no, uh, and let me tell you how important that is, because this woman was over. I'm trying to shift all the blame to Beth. You know, because I get blamed for everything, so having Beth here helps. Because she's holding Mama's hand. And so... Uh, the fact that we're not to the car yet is Bethy's fault. Not mine. And that concludes our walk for Alzheimer's. Mama is All busy, time. always up in her nose. But she. degrees or better from now on. She really did have a good time, didn't she? Beth? Yes, she did. We had a fun time. She was. Well, I did. Love Jesus and he loves me. Now that's a song we can sing, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. We're trying to hurry away because last time Jenny, right over there, started to follow to us. Me. So we're just. Where is she coming? Huh? Huh? She <laughs> loves us too. I know, I know. Well, I can't have oh, her get crap. Here. I can't have her get here. I knew. She has to go in the house. Please. Come on, let's see. No. Mama, she may go another direction. Let's see. Oh, poop.
Oh, oh no. okay. She's gonna come all the way down to this Come street. here, sweetie. She's nonsense. We've tried this before and she will I'll go in the house follow us. Come on, Jenny. Come play in the backyard with us. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. Let her get distracted. All right. Wee! I'm going to get you. All right. Now we can make our move. She sees you. She's going to jump the fence. Stand right here. Oh, there she is. Oh, poo. Oh, Jenny, come on. I got to get her inside. Well, she it's too pretty out here for her to be inside. Jenny, honey, we're going on a walk. Cause you can't go with us. Okay? Whee! Jump up on the roof. Come on, kid. We gotta get her walk done. Ah, poo. Hmm. I love you, Jenny. She loves you. Well, we've had a, a delay in our walk. Because Jenny will follow us around the neighborhood, so we have to just, and she won't let me catch her, because it's a game. So she's hiding and there. And Lucy, by the way. So we just gotta wake this out a little bit until she comes over, and then I'll snatch her up and put her back in the house. The plan, the plan worked. Here she is. All right, let's go inside, and then we'll be back, okay? Mm. Uh huh. I know. You can't follow. Oh no no. Sorry, kid. Pray for me. Put me on your prayer list. Leave mm -hmm. alone. Okay. God loves us. We'll pray for her. Okay. Mother was, of course, a mom when I was coming back from the store and I was sitting at the light at Cantrell, Mississippi. Guess what I saw? A hawk. A bald eagle. Oh. Oh, goodness. Neighbor yelling across the street to the neighbor scared me. Yes, I did see it. And uh, it was fur away, but because it was so pretty, and I could see the white tail, but man, look at the big old hawk right there, Barb. Yeah. Oh, is he? Wow. I'm gonna try to get a shot of that hawk. It wasn't in the tree, right? It keeps going back down to this. There he is, see him? Uh -huh. Oh, I see him. All right, I'm gonna try to get y'all a shot of that beautiful hawk. What do you call There he comes. There he comes. Oh, come on. That is a biggie. Hi. Wow. He was pretty. Gorgeous day, huh? Oh, no, it could be about 30 degrees warmer. Well, of course, and then it would be called spring. Well, but this happens to be January, and so <laughs> it feels awesome. Okay, that's pretty true. All right. But I'm cold. I'm sometimes you know, right I'm about stuff. Nature. Mama wasn't feeling too hot this morning, so we took it slow, worked the puzzle. I sat outside and got some vitamin D. But she wants to be feeling a little bit better because she's picking up rocks, aren't you? No. You weren't picking up rocks, huh? I've never seen this amount of pretty ones. She's never seen this amount of pretty ones. Well, once we get back to the house, I'll show you a huge amount of pretty ones. Now, Barbara, you don't have that many pockets. You want to see some of yours? No. Oh, no. We decided that every time we go on a walk, we are going to take the binoculars. Yes, they are your walking shoes. Do you want a little jacket? Or do you think you're going to be fine? It's hard to tell, but it is almost I'll 60 live. degrees. If you're live, I can live. Oh, I'm going to live. I'm and I tough. think you'll live too. Because I'm tougher than you are, actually. There's truth to that. She yeah. is tougher than I am. Oh, what are you doing? It's beautiful out here. Look at the oh. look at that sky. We did that at the same look time. Look at the sun behind you, right in your eye. Thanks, Burby. <laughs> this is gonna be a perfect day for me to go on a bike ride too. Good, huh? Yeah, so I'm gonna do that right after our walk. We're looking around for our um, hawk. 
They still have seen like my walking shoes. I know, but I promise they are. Okay. We're planting our bike first. Oh, you mean as far as it being a new house? No, I mean, did Clint and I buy this area here first? Uh-huh. Okay. As opposed to another time? <laughs> Your lipstick's pretty. Oh, like my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> when you said, did Clint and I buy this house first? It's the only house that we've lived in, you know. That well, that's what I meant, though. Did we buy it together? Oh, yes, ma'am. You Thank and Daddy you. bought it together. You were married at the time. a little more clarity to it. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Talking to you just wears me out. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you? Your hair right? sure is pretty. Yeah, thank you. Quit being sociable. My mother told me to be more sociable. And her hair was cute, wasn't it? I told her she was pretty. And Mama said she was pretty. We made her feel good today. Yes, we did. She must not have thought we looked pretty. <laughs> she was she didn't say well, anything we were to us. talking first and she wasn't going to interrupt us and then we walked, she walked on by so we couldn't that's right have that conversation. we were all about doling out the compliments weren't we no we were all about getting this over with hey oh. you want to look at the oh, God. uh the look at that tree right there Boy, that's the nest do what you want to see the nest what nest over there uh-huh what's happening she had one backwards. Huh. Well, oh, here. That'd be cool if there were some babies in there. Huh. Boy, she had the friends. Aren't you glad you're not wearing a jacket? Yeah. I made that call. Well, okay, you're obviously wearing credit. You have Are to you trust me. Are you feeling real insecure today? I mean, we forgot to put your knee brace on, but... I made oh, yeah. a good call about the jacket. Okay. We're at the hill. Hill. Boy, this is the only one, thank God. Well, we're ready to go on our walk, but there's a problem. If I don't get Jenny in, she will follow us. So I've got to Sure. Well, why don't you come on in? Come hang out with us. Trying the emotional angle. Oh, hi. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Oh. We're, we're trying to get out of the house before Jenny comes down okay, the hall the and sees it. Grab your jacket. That was a close call, Barbara. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Well, this is candy. Uh, it's not candy. Even it's a lozenge. Oh, look at my pretty little pile. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Uh. Getting you out of the house for a walk. Oh, now you're going to sing the I Love Timba song? Girl. God's been good. So we uh, have binoculars with us today because there's a nest that we want to check out that's pretty large. And we think that it belongs to the red-tailed hawk. Right? So we're, Mama, we're just going to see it. There's that red-tailed yes, hawk. Can y'all see it? Ooh. Beautiful. That's that red-tailed hawk that's always flying around. And uh, let's see if it gets right over us. <gasps> there you are. Hi. Now we gotta figure out where that nest was. So, I, thought I, was. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, red tailed hawk sighting. I brought my binoculars because mom and I think we have seen the, his nest, maybe. I don't know, it was just a big nest. Um, all right, so we found the nest. Like I said, it's a big nest. 
So th that's a nest. And I think it's pretty big. So it could be a hawk's nest. I don't know. Well, you can only get a good shot through the binoculars on, on one side of the nest. So um, I can't confirm. Well, see, the reason I can't talk a lot is my nose is totally stopped up. Well, I'm having to breathe through my mouth. Well, good thing you got your mouth to breathe through. That's why. Well, where was I when you I no scored idea. that huge rock that looks like part of someone's driveway? Huh? Let's see it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna throw it away. Yeah, know. but instead, no, you see, show them that hand. Look how You're... pretty it is. Look how beautiful it's sparkling. <laughs> Girl, no wonder you're breathing heavy. Uh, we're off to a little late start because we had to wait till normally it's a little warmer by now, but we waited till three o'clock. When it well, hit, that's when it gets cold. When it hit the big 5-0. Oh. Well, here comes a big old truck. He, he's My mother was flirting back. with the Lowe's truck he's driver. Turn around and come and see him again. He did give you a big old wave, didn't he? Sure did. he was Thought he was going to break his arm. Oh, was not. We haven't even really started. If you're going to find rocks this early in our walk, by the time we finished, you're gonna need a truck. Nah. Hey, let's slow our pace down a little. We've got a little ways to go. <laughs> I know, but if we if we speed up our pace, we'll be finished faster. No, I won't like that though. Thank you. You think so? Look at this business. It is all about the rocks today. Now she said that was it, but we that's have it. any. That's all I can get in my pockets. Oh, you'll figure out. Here, a... No, no. <laughs> so, so I got mom some gloves to wear for right. this walk because it is chilly. And and I said, are your hands warm? And she said, no, they're cold. Standing here holding these cold rocks. Yeah. She's picking up all these cold rocks and putting them in her glove there. Not and all of them. Even. Lots of drama because mom can't to deal with her runny nose without my assistance because she's got so many rocks in her hand. <laughs> Look at that. Her nose is just a runny. That was a bad one. <sighs> but Beaver to the rescue. Hi. Good. And uh, I'm being sociable. My mother told me to start saying hi to the neighbors. Alright, so now he you're used, good. He used to mind me. He did? He said hi, Barbara. Did he? Yes, he did. That's why I looked up. Huh. And then I said a big smile on her because he was cute. I cannot take you around the neighborhood anymore. Why? Because <laughs> you're just flirting. Now you're flirting with everybody. I thought you were supposed to be flirting for me. Like, Finding me somebody. Oh, you find your own. Oh, Girl, come on now. We can get the mail later. Probably just bills anyway. We're changing up our strategy today because it. we have walked when it's about 48, but we do have a little bit more cloud cover. So mom is sporting one of my windbreaker jackets. And then I've got my, my Who gloves. Who the Sam Hill are you talking to? Who the Sam Hill are you talking to? Mama, you're cursing. I did a Sam Hill. Sam oh, Sam Hill. Hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, who is Sam Hill anyway? Sam Hill's my best friend. <laughs> is he your old boyfriend? Yeah. I love him. <laughs> I, I tell him everything. <laughs> okay. He helps me out. Oh, that's the first I've heard of Sam Hill. Yeah. Okay, it feels good. We might be a little, we could be overdressed, but then. Oh, I don't think so. When the, when the cloud cut and there's wind, it's a little, it bites oh, a little bit. Oh, well, better. crap. Look at there. It's too cold. Look who's hiding out. Come on, sweetie. Waiting on us. Come on, sweetie. Jenny, you know you're not supposed to be there. She has to go in the house. Oh, I know. Let me go grab her. Jenny, we got, you come here. 
You come here now. Well, you can't. You'll follow us. I got to take you inside. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Can I catch you? Will you let me catch you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jenny, we'll be back. Diva, I got to show you some. You have to look up here straight up. Now you have to turn around and look straight up. Oh, oh gosh, isn't this sky? Look at this right here. Beautiful. Ruby. Isn't that fantabulous? That is Boy, fantabulous. God gave us a sky today, didn't he? Look at this thing. There's not an ugly place anywhere. You realize, Mom, if we had not spotted her on the corner of the neighbor's house, we would have walked like... 10 houses before we she would have been following us oh yeah she was because she's sneaky <sighs> she's gotten pretty clever oh. mom do you realize that this tissue has like it's uh what is that stuff that you rub on your chest to help Vicks? you but it says i bought you the wrong kind gasoline of gasoline or vix vix vapor rubby smell oh i love it it's good for your nose Oh, that's wrong. That's I was putting on my mother's hat for her and I poked her in the eye. I'm so sorry about that. How's your eye doing? It's doing good. It watered pretty good and it's doing pretty good. It's going to be a little sore. What is wrong with me? I'm such a klutz. I can't even put on a little bit of a snow hat. Well, you didn't mean to do it. That's why I'm not mad. <laughs> also, I normally... Are you happy about being out? No. Well, you look like you were doing no, the happy I walk. You're putting on? Yeah. That bird right there, that's not a regular blackbird. What the hell you see a bird? Right yeah. there. Right there at the very end. Do you see it? Here. He said, you know what? God said, God gave me you because he knew you were the only one who would put up with me. That's what I said. From a little tiny little girl? Yeah, uh -huh. all the way up. Up to right now, even. Especially right. kind of okay, but bingle, so bonga boo, boy, I'm in good mood. Bingle bonga boo is her happy song. Yep, happy me. Happy Barbara. Well, I'm glad you're happy, Mama. Thank you. I'm happy, too. I think so. You're precious. Oh, oh see, I see what shining in the sun. Ooh, I know that's a piece of wood. Oh, Thank okay. goodness it was a piece of wood. Oh, I guess that's what this is all about. Absolutely. Have you noticed that I've been more sociable yes. when the neighbors walk by? Well, you should be. Well, I'm working on it. Yeah. I mean, I've said hello so much, my throat's dry. Let me tell you right now, good thing we're both outside today. Because uh, this morning, I was high side cranky, and right now, Mama's on the high side of cranky, aren't you, Barbara? No, I'm not, but you're about to get me there. And so this walk's going to do... Oh, <laughs> see what I mean? So Hit me with my own gloves. So it's a little windy today. I don't think I'm going to go on a bike ride. Gee, I don't think I'm going to walk. I'm going to be sick on a dog. I've already got the flu. Something. It's cold. I think maybe she said the S word, but I don't really think you heard it. Oh, shut up. <sighs> well, we just got to get our walk done well, for the next two days that. because oh. it's going to be pretty and have, then the bottom's going to fall out. I don't out. have pants on like you do. These are just. You ain't got cheap, no pants on. Cheap old jeans. You know what's wrong with her jeans? She has worn them silly. If I showed you the butt right now, you'd see two little holes forming where she sits outside and picks up stuff in the yard and just wears it but they're her favorite Kleenex. and there well, let me tell you my little warm-up outfits then now i've had this nike warm-up outfit since 2003. it is what i consider retro it's got the little slit on the sides look at that I mean, it's retro, and it's cute, and I can't believe it still fits, but it's thin. If you see this lady in the neighborhood, call the cops. She's up to no good. We have to be quiet, don't we, Mama? Because Jenny's in the backyard, and she'll follow us, won't she, Mom? 
Mama, you know what we forgot on our walk besides our jackets, which we don't need? We're really, we're testing the elements, aren't we? Well, why? It's not hot. I cold out here. Today. I know. That's what I'm saying. We forgot my little binoculars. We were going to check out that huge nest we saw in the tree. Well, go get it real quick. No, because Jenny It'll might, be gone. We'll do it later. Jenny um, might might hear us. Jenny's, but we can't live a life for Jenny. Hey, so, Mama, did you watch me on TV today? No. Nope. I really did. Of course, when you tell me to, I've got to do it or I will get in so much trouble. How'd I do? You did really good. And uh, you don't mind me talking about you on TV? No. Really? That's not what you said earlier when you said Why you were going to call I'm, a lawyer. you say I'm wonderful? Well, you are that. No. Well, aren't you proud that I stopped and talked Hello. to the neighbors? Because Mother's going to say hello to everybody. But he was just a worker guy. He doesn't live in the neighborhood, so I, I won't get a penalty for that, will I? Well, yeah. But I did stop and talk to a really sweet neighbor just now. Okay. My mother wants me to uh, do better about you have that. You to break out and know your neighbors. You never know when you're going to need them. Well, when our house burned down, my parents had so many neighbors yeah. for blocks. When my mother was, were you 18 or 17? Well, I was one or the other. I think I was 18. They came and got her to, at school because her house burned completely to the ground. It was very traumatic. She has actually one picture saved, uh -huh. and it's her baby picture, and I have a, a shot of it uh, at home, and it has the, the sides of it are burned, but it's the cute little baby picture. You know what people are all about when you have a tragedy that big. Right. They came from all over. Because my dad at the time worked for the Shell. And my mom, I don't know where she was the day it burned. Where she went home. But everybody was precious to us. They worked so hard to salvage things they could quickly get. Yeah, so when mom sees on the news these wildfires burning up houses it's very traumatic for her. very sad so we usually you, have you to turn it. things that you can never get back right pictures of stuff. she could play the piano and paint and draw and sing and then there was me oh you're precious mom's was just I'm walking and her sister just flooded her memory she misses her bad. bad. They talked on the phone every day. And she loved the Lord from when she was very young. Uh-oh. And we interrupt this message for a possible rock sighting. Oh, or, ooh. Or, oh, wow. It's exactly. not a button either, it's a rock. Huh. Ready for me yet, Barbara? She would say things like that yeah, to cheer me up and perk me up and stuff like that. And then she said, really, he's not. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I, I can feel it. He's not ready yet. And she helped so many people, I can't even tell you. She would just find strangers and she could start talking to them and they were practically like best friends. It was just the wildest thing to watch her. She had something about her whole being that just glowed and smacked you right in the face. Did you ever see her like that? Did you? Oh, yes. Remember she Aunt Faye lived with us for a while? Oh, yeah. She was oh, so Oh, she strong. sure loved you. Oh, I know. And, and you I, got to be with her in the very end. Oh, I will. Oh. I mean, you were. Oh, the, yeah. And I will passed. be with her again. Yes. I might not be quite on her level, but maybe God will. Make a little excuse and let me go up and see her. You're so silly. I love her so. I was so blessed with my life. I am so blessed with my life. Well, now you just revealed what was on your mind earlier and you couldn't tell me. It was yeah. your sister. It takes time. I have to think through things. But I do. And so how old was she when she held your hand and told you that? And what did she tell you again? She, that God wasn't quite ready for her yet, but that she, that's where she was going to go.
Yeah. But he wasn't ready yet. And he, she, what she was doing is consoling me so I didn't think she was going to die because I thought she was going to die. Right. So she's going, no, Barbara, because God's not ready for me yet. And that was, and, and that just, it just, I, for some, and I don't, I don't want to mean this in the wrong way, but for some reason right then, I believed every bit of that. I went, and I, but I do believe it now. Yeah. But I, I believed it then because I really wanted to believe it. You know what I'm saying? She planted a seed. She planted a seed. And the seed did kind of relieve me a little bit. But I didn't leave her side too much. Because I, I, I just, she was, there is no way to describe her, really. A phenomenal, phenomenal self of well-being and gentle i mean she was just well there's just no there's no way to ex ever explain it to anybody i mean she made me strong mm -hmm. and she made me wise in the ways i was supposed to get wise and i was very private about it and she didn't like that and she said i want you to pray and i went oh to you in front of you oh i can't do that <laughs> And she goes, yes, you can, Barbara, because you know what's on your mind and in your heart and you're worried about and, and you need to talk to God about it. So just be patient. And she'd come over and she'd hold my hand. She goes, we'll just wait until you and God are ready, okay? And then pretty soon I actually, it, it was, it, she did weary things to me that made me sometimes not want to be around her because they would happen. And I just prayed, and I wasn't afraid, and I, and it was, well, there's, there's two or three times like that in our lifetime that something happened when the last part was getting ready to happen, she would say the neatest things to me, I can't even remember them all, but she said, she would tell me that I had a really, really good heart and to not be afraid of it. She would tell me, uh, he's gonna be with you. You may not completely understand all that now, but you will, because I was, I was going to church and she knew that. And she told me to always be patient with others. She taught me that. She said, you're always gonna have to be patient with others because they don't, and especially about who you are and what you believe and how you feel because they may not feel that, they may not believe that, but I want you to just stand steady about it and not demand it or not keep bringing it up until you'll know the right time to bring it up again and, do, and keep them under control if you want that person to know God. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Because they, because people who don't believe in God sometimes don't want to believe in God but yet something keeps bothering their heart or their, their whole lifestyle. And when it gets relieved, or he, or she, or they, or I, because I would always tell them, what do you got to lose? You don't have anything to lose. If you just pray one time or two times and you feel different, what, what have you got to lose? If you don't feel different, then he must not be here. He, not, he must not be ready for you yet. So there was just, there were, there was, there's been so funny, many funny times in my life where I've been involved with people and I don't even, I, I don't like being involved with people. I'm very private and I like, I like my consolement, but he kept bringing me people. So I, <laughs> I handled what I could handle and did what I could do. And it was kind of special, but with her, there, there was um, a presence about her, a, a presence of peace that you wanted. And so that's why I'd listen to her a lot of times because I wanted to feel that way. I was busy. Oh, I was in trouble all the time. I was busy all the time. I, I got spankings. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and she would always come to me, she goes, do you think you deserved that lecture? And I thought, and she said, tell me the truth. So she said, well, what are you going to do about it? And I go, I'm going to try to do better, but I'm very busy. And she goes, well, 
You need to quit getting so busy that you do wrong things. And you need to think about what you're doing when you're doing it. She would lecture me. Yeah. And I'd go, okay. And, well, she and, was the older sister. And, that's, and what was funny about it, that'd be the end of the conversation for months. I mean, we may not bring up another one or have to have another one or anything. Because she'd give me a lot to think about when I started to do things. Or when mother started pointing her finger, <laughs> I, I would go. That, there, she, 